What's up guys, I'm BTC. Welcome back to Overwatch Agents, where we review match replays to catch the cheaters and throwers who try to ruin the game. If you have a replay to share where you think someone was cheating or throwing, you can send it to me along with the info on the screen. Let's get started. This one, we're going to be looking at a thrower. It is the May on the red team. This is some pretty obvious stuff. It's not like jumping off of the map or anything like that, but it's pretty clear that this is a player very obviously hard throwing. Now, one of the things that I want to point out to you, which is just kind of funny in this situation, I mean, this May should still be banned, make no mistake, but I think it's funny because this is playing in real time, and you see the May who is just crouch walking through the enemy team. The blue team is the enemy, and they're just not damaging the May. Like, nobody is hitting the May for some reason. I don't know why. You see, just got taken a hit right there, and then after the fight is over, then May starts taking lots of damage. But I just think that that's kind of ridiculous that the May managed to just kind of crouch walk in and around the enemy team and not take any damage at all. Then we're gonna speed it up and skip to another part here. You're going to see pretty much the same thing, just kind of crouch walking around. And, oh, make that's, that's gonna make me dizzy. All right, so obviously not participating, just kind of avoiding the enemy team here. And let me slow this down. We're gonna put this over to here. You're going to see that just avoiding the fight entirely and just going up and down on this side over here. And then in a second, we're gonna watch where the May actually helps the enemy team by putting the Bob up in the air, deliberately putting the Bob up on high ground so that he can hit more of May's own team. We can skip ahead and you're just gonna see the same kind of stuff again and again and again where this player is obviously not participating, obviously not trying to actually do any damage to the enemy team just kind of avoiding everything this player is very clearly throwing in this match we're going to be looking at not one but two throwers it looks like they're trying to derank their accounts it is both of the supports on the red team the moira and the anna and usually when you see this sort of thing it's because the two people that are trying to derank the accounts are trying to guarantee that it's going to happen because if you lose just one of the supports it makes it substantially more difficult but if you lose both healers it makes it effectively impossible for that team to win and you can see here that both the Ana and the Moira are on very low level accounts it's almost certain that these are going to be smurf accounts so what we're going to see is starting around the 1 minute and 45 second mark you're going to see that they just kind of move over to where the attacker, or excuse me, the defender spawn is, and they do manage to take out the Sigma, and I believe they get another elimination on the Sigma, but this is not even remotely as beneficial as if their team actually had the two healers at the point, because very clearly their team is not able to capture the point, not in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And they're going to try it again on the Roadhog, but the Ana is going to get taken out here. I'm going to switch over to the Moira. You can see that the Roadhog was able to take out the Ana, but then ends up getting eliminated. We're going to skip forward just a little bit here. Look back at the Ana, and this Ana has now gone back to where they were before, trying to goof off. The Moira is just deliberately avoiding helping the team and just kind of, you know, doing whatever nonsense over there. Then we have the Ana again, who is going to try to very quickly go back to there, just again, going right past the team, not trying to help, not trying to heal or do anything, and just trying to go back. Obviously didn't make it that time. We'll skip forward and we're gonna look, and that was the end of the first round. So very obviously, both of these support players are hard throwing and need a permanent ban. In this match, we have two more support players that are throwing and trying to derank. This is going to be the Mercy and the Zenyatta on the red team. If you look at the account levels, you see 56 and then 50. So these are very low level accounts. They're almost certainly going to be Smurfs or just alternate throwaway accounts that these players don't care about. With the Mercy, it is incredibly obvious that this player is throwing, just attacking all the time, not trying to heal at all. And if you skip to pretty much any part during this entire thing, you're going to see no healing, just trying to attack, and that's it. So with the Mercy, the throwing is very, very obvious, not trying to heal that Reinhardt who has very low health. And then the Reinhardt ends up getting taken out and just simply, just simply doesn't use the res, which is available. And instead just kind of, uh, instead this person just kind of, you know, sits around and, and like dances around and, and that sort of stuff. And then goes back to using 
the uh, the attack again, and that's it. So very obvious that the Mercy player is throwing. With the Zenyatta, it's a little less obvious, but it's still definitely very, very, very clear that this person is just throwing because you're going to be able to notice on the right-hand side who the orbs are on. And you'll notice that the healing orb has not been placed on anybody, even though teammates are low. And again, just like the, the Mercy not trying to heal and not using the healing orb at all, just trying to flank and go around, does put the damaging Discord orb on there a little bit every now and again. But obviously, that's just to help himself deal more damage and that sort of stuff, but not helping the team in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Not healing. And this is slightly less obvious than the, the blatant throwing of the, the Mercy, but still very, very clearly, clearly throwing. Both of these players, the Mercy and the Zenyatta, need to be permanently banned. And hopefully any of their alternate or secondary accounts will be banned as well. In this match, we're going to be looking at the D.Va on the red team who is throwing. Now, this is not what appears to be a D-ranking account. This is a person who decided to just simply begin throwing about halfway through the match. From what I'm told, this person was not exactly pleasant in voice chat either. You can see the player here just allowing himself to get d and then feeding all charge. We can speed it up, and at another point, you have just standing there in the back, allowing the Reinhardt and the Genji to just repeatedly hit and farm all charge and then eventually get taken out. Now, once we go into the next round, you're going to see that the D.Va is pretty much going to do the same thing. Just drop down, emote, wave, allow themselves to get taken out, feed, give the ult charge to the enemy, and we can skip forward to the next one. Now, it's going to be a pretty long period of AFK, I believe and then just kind of like sitting off in the corner, not doing anything, and just continues to feed for the rest of the match. So this player, again, going over to the attack, uh, the attacker spawn, just kind of sitting there and emoting, very obvious, extremely blatant, hard throwing by this player. This person needs to have a permanent ban. This sort of stuff is inexcusable and does not need to happen in the game. In this match, we're going to see someone who is very angry at med packs. It's going to be a thrower on the red team. We're looking at this Reinhardt right here. And from this point, the Reinhardt apparently had been saying, not getting enough healing or something to that effect. And instead of deciding to help the team, just, you know what, I'm going to go on vacation. And heads off over onto the left hand. And then just goes into this room and starts just kind of sitting there, emoting for a little bit. You can see as we move forward, still emoting. Move forward a little bit more. Move forward a little bit more. And at this point, the Reinhardt gets angry at the med pack and just spends, I don't even know how long, simply attacking the med pack over and over again. Over and over again. I don't, man, this med pack must have done something really bad. Finally decides to leave the med pack. Nope, going back for seconds. No, okay, maybe a different med pack. All right, just taking in the view and nice little scenery here and just kind of avoiding. And now see we can see for the rest of the match, this player is doing nothing. Obviously now switched over to the Hammond and just avoiding the enemy, avoiding the team, not doing anything to help whatsoever and just kind of feeding at this point. So it's very obvious that this player is throwing. In this match, we have yet another support player that is throwing. We're going to be looking at the blue team Mercy, who seems to have an appropriate name on that character. And it looks like this person was actually trying at the beginning, although has some of the worst positioning that you could possibly imagine but apparently didn't feel that they were being protected or helped enough by the team and then decides to just start jumping off of the map. We can speed forward a little bit and you can see that this is going to keep happening again and again and again and again. And for the rest of the match, this is what the player is doing. Very obvious that this person is throwing. And you can see here, starting at the beginning here, let's go over and now just avoiding, not healing, not doing anything, and then just jumping off the map. So this is very obviously throwing. 
I don't know if this is deranking. It could possibly be, although I get the feeling that this is an alt account that someone just doesn't care. It's like a throwaway account. I don't think that it's necessarily deranking on purpose because, again, at the beginning of the match, this player did seem to try to try to help and try to do stuff, but very clearly, the person ended up hard throwing and costing the match for their team. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get notified. You can get some cool gear, join my Discord server, or follow me on social media with the links down in the description below. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters, and remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.